In Korea, November and December is a dry spell with zero public holidays until Lunar New Year. So Nick and I booked a little two-night staycation to escape from city life while still remaining in Seoul. We went to a place called Douglas House, a cozy getaway within the grounds of a five-star hotel called Grand Walker Hill. But before we checked in, we stopped by Lotte World Mall at Tamsil for a quick and delicious dim sum lunch. From there, we headed to Gangbyeon Station Exit 1, from which we took a short walk to the free shuttle bus that took us straight to the entrance of Grand Walker Hill. Douglas House requires us to go even further in, so we had to take another free shuttle, which took us to the actual entrance. Douglas House is built within the mountains, and it's meant to offer a relaxing escape from city life. And a great thing is that it's a child-free zone, meaning no guests under 13 are allowed in. The lobby was on the third floor, and we actually had to go downstairs to the second floor to get to our room. Okay, we just checked in and I love the coziness of the room and the view from the balcony is not the best but they wanted you to pay more money for the better view and uh, you know, no thank you. So it's still pretty nice, isn't it? The good thing about here is that the drinks are all free. What is this? Oh, it's beer. This is beer? So we get free, we get two cans of beer and two arena and two bottles of water. Mm, I like the big mirror you get here too. Yes. Okay, so I saw this on YouTube, but the toiletries here are very funky. Apparently, the soap and shampoo and conditioner come like this. It's so weird. Shampoo, face and body, and conditioner. It's supposed to be environmentally friendly. It is now about 4.30 in the afternoon and we are heading to the lounge to check out the cookie selection so we can enjoy our tea time. One of the best things about Douglas House that makes it worth its rather steep price is that the lounge is free and always accessible. For a couple hours in the afternoon, you can enjoy a small selection of cookies with your coffee or tea, and outside of this tea time, we were still allowed to drink unlimited cups of coffee. The cookies are a bit... they're not great. There's a very small selection. This one tastes like the fancy version of a Korenji pie. What is it? Korenji pie? That one's flaky, this one's cookie pie. In the afternoons, we made use of the game room where guests could enjoy a selection of board games as well as a mini pool table. Lucky for us, we went during off peak season and the room was empty each time we used it. Damn! <laughs> Douglas House also has its own library, which is a cozy room filled with books for you to read. It even had the occasional English book, which I appreciate, even though I brought my own Kindle. I also loved the hammocks, which were a bit difficult to use at first. but ended up super comfy.
in the evenings, we went to the lounge again for Douglas Hour, where we could enjoy complimentary wine, beer, or cocktails while making our own hot dogs and enjoying an assortment of yummy snacks. So, the Douglas Hour is supposed to be like an appetizer and not a meal, that's what they say, but honestly, it's enough food to just be dinner. So I think this is going to be our dinner. We've got hot dogs and chips and salad and wine. And all of this is included in the hotel cost price. So I think that makes it really worth it. So you can get like breakfast and dinner included. Considering room service is like super expensive, so I'm very happy with this. Breakfast was just a light spread, much smaller than the average five-star hotel, but it had all the basics like salad and fruits, cereal, breads, and of course coffee. For our second morning, we took the shuttle down to Grand Walker Hill where we were able to use their gym and pool. I wasn't allowed to take pictures at the gym, but obviously the facilities were clean and up to date and best of all, nearly empty since we went on a weekday. For lunch, we explored the area a bit, taking a walk through a small garden outside the hotel. Then we headed to a restaurant called Pizza Hill, an Italian place that's also part of the hotel. Pizza. It costs Yuman Chonan. So it's like a $60 pizza. It's the most expensive pizza I've ever had in my entire life. And it's making me feel fancy. So I'm going to eat with a fork and knife, which I never do with pizza. But. Ooh, the dough is green. The dough is green. Is it? I think Papa John's is better. And it's like half the price. I guess you're paying for the experience. Mm. After that, we took a mini hike in the forest, and I could really tell that fall was finally coming to an end. Got an old school wheelbarrow with upgraded wheels. Wow. By the way, the fallen leaves made the trail really slippery, so I do not recommend hiking at this time of year. But if it's for relaxing and just enjoying some quiet time, I have to say Douglas House did not disappoint at all and I would definitely want to go again. Okay, we are back home from the hotel. How was your experience? Uh, relaxing. Yeah, it was really nice. But it's kind of good to be back home because I'm getting sick of all the Western food, so we need to cleanse the palate with some kimchi, kimchi jjigae, good old Korean food, and just like that, we're back in reality. Bye. Bye. 